Hey, this is Sarge here at C4 Defense. It's getting kind of late in the year. Leaves are starting to change, starting to fall. And I started thinking about getting a bigger gun for winter carry or maybe going hunting this winter. So I decided to pick up a Gen 4 10 millimeter Glock 20. Let's go ahead, put a few on steel before we get started. Oh yeah. It's like a grown up 40. All right, let's see if we can get that one. Got it. You see how much that thing flew? Holy crap. Now, if you're not familiar with the Glock 20, this is the most powerful pistol that Glock makes. Let's take a closer look. All right, now the Glock 20 Gen 4 is chambered in 10 millimeter. Of course, it has a polymer frame, the Gen 4 ambidextrous mag release, and the slide lock is on the left side, and it does come with the modular back straps, although this is a very large grip. I don't run them, but it comes with a medium and large back strap. Now, this extra large frame, it is wide. The overall width is still 1.34 inches, and that's because of the slide stop, but the frame is about 1.2 inches, where everything else, like a Glock 17, Glock 19, something like that, is gonna be about 1.1 inches, so it is a little bit wider. and this one does have Glock night sights, as you could tell. Great, great investment if you're gonna upgrade. Now, has the typical safe action trigger, has about a five and a half pound trigger pull somewhere around there. Comes with a standard 15 round magazine and the height is 5.51 inches. And it does have an accessory rail for any light or laser that you wanna run. And I'm gonna put my trusty TLR1 HL on it here in just a minute. Now the barrel length. 4.61 inches. It is just a little bit longer than the other full-size Glocks. Slide length 7.6 with an overall length of 8.07 inches and a sight radius of 6.69 inches. Now, the weight, this thing is heavy. With an unloaded mag, without the magazine, it is 27.51 ounces. With an empty mag, it's 30.69 ounces and fully loaded with 15 rounds of 10 millimeter, it is 39.86 ounces. Now, let's go ahead, put a few more on steel. Now the 10 millimeter is one heck of a cartridge. This is what the 40 Smith & Wesson was designed or derived from. Uh, this is the more powerful of the two, of course. And it's got a lot of applications, mainly for hunting. Of course it is for self-defense as well. But this magazine, I forgot to show you. And of course I, I labeled them because physically they look the same from a distance, but I, I put a marker on them to, to designate which one's a 10 millimeter. But this thing is a lot wider than the nine or 40 or 357 Sig mags that they already have for the, for the regular handguns. But let's go ahead and put a few more on steel and see what we think about it. Now, this one has a 15 round capacity. And let me tell you, 15 rounds of 10 millimeter is a lot. And this thing is extremely accurate. My gosh. And this is, these are full power loads that I'm shooting. Not self-defense rounds, but they're still very powerful. Um, and like I said, 15 rounds of 10 millimeter doesn't do it. You are in bad way, a very bad way. Now, like I said, accuracy. I can hit whatever I need to hit. We'll go ahead and run one more mag through it, just uh, seeing what it'll do. Then I'll throw the old Amazon battle belt on and we'll shoot some in self-defense. There we go. Yeah, I like this thing. This is the beginning of a project. You're gonna see this gun a lot more. Oh, there we go. I flinched, that's my fault. You gotta be ready for this 10 millimeter recoil. And like I said, this is gonna be the, the beginning of a project gun. This is gonna end up being a multi-caliber RMR fixed gun, but right now we're going over the stock version of it. So let's go ahead, throw on the battle belt, give it a go. Now I went ahead and threw my Streamlight TLR1 HL on it, since this is a excellent choice for a tactical gun or a home defense gun, this, this will definitely do the trick. Um, and I grabbed my Amazon battle belt. You know, I got a video on this. You can check it out right here. And this is one of the reasons why I got it. A, it'll hold any gun that has that light on it. So I don't have to worry about buying a new holster every time I get a gun. And B, these mag pouches will hold any magazine that I choose to put in them. So like I said, go ahead and check out that other video. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some on steel in more of a 
self-defense scenario. I'm going to see if I can get all 15 of these on the static target. All right. Here we go. Wow. That was a lot of fun. That's a very accurate gun. Uh, recoil's not that bad once you get used to it. Uh, that being said, let's see if we can get a few more on the head of it. Hopefully I didn't break that target with, uh, with all those 10 millimeter rounds, but let's see. Oh yeah. We're getting the head anytime we need to. This is a very accurate gun. Get that, that little one. This. And this may be my new favorite Glock. This thing is powerful. It'll do a little bit more than some of the other ones that I have will do. It's, um, like I said, it's, it's sturdy. It's heavy. I wouldn't want to carry it every day, that's for sure, because it is a little bit heavy, so there's a trade-off. And I forgot to mention, MSRP is about 706 bucks, something like that. I just looked it up, but you can find these things for under $600. Um, good choice, home defense, definitely a great choice out in the woods, especially if you're medium to large game hunting, this thing will do the trick. And congratulations for making it to the end of the video. Smash that subscribe button if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Smash that subscribe button anyway. If you wanna find out more information about this or other products, follow us on Facebook. Check out our Instagram and our Twitter as well. If you wanna see one of my favorite videos, click here. If you want to see videos from my buddies, Gizzard Gary, The Gun Snob, and Obnoxious One, smash here. See you on the range.